Hello friends and welcome to virtual story time at the Chippewa River District Library. Will you join me in singing the hello song? Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Welcome to Storytime. Today we are going to be talking about the weather. So I want you to take a quick second and look out your window right now. What weather is happening outside of your window? When I looked outside my window, I saw earlier today that it was raining and thunderstorming and it was very wet and yucky. But then later in the day, the sun came out and now Outside my window, it's beautiful and sunny out. It might be sunny outside your window right now, or it might be rainy, or windy, or cloudy, or foggy, or blowy. What is the weather like for you? Well, today's book is about a certain type of weather. It's about cloudy weather. It's called Little Cloud. Let's take a look. Here we have it. It's Little Cloud by Eric Carl. And there's our one cloud in the beautiful blue sky. The clouds drifted slowly across the sky. Little Cloud trailed behind. Oh, I see the big clouds high above. And there's Little Cloud down at the bottom drifting behind. The clouds pushed upward and away. Little Cloud pushed downward and touched the tops of houses and trees. Do you see the houses and trees? And there's the Little Cloud. Hmm. You know, it looks like a pretty sunny day to me. It doesn't quite look cloudy yet. The clouds moved out of sight. Little Cloud changed into a giant cloud. Whoa! Little Cloud takes up the whole page now. Do you see that? Little Cloud changed into a sheep. Sheep and clouds sometimes look alike. Little Cloud changed into an airplane. Little Cloud often saw airplanes flying through the clouds. Then Little Cloud changed into a shark. Little Cloud once saw a shark through the waves in the ocean. Yikes! A cloud shark. I don't know if I like that. Hmm, I wonder what will happen at the end of this book. It looks like it's a nice sunny day with just a few clouds in the sky, but the weather could change, couldn't it? Sometimes clouds are a sign of what? Rain, right? So maybe it rains at the end of this book. Who knows? If you'd like to find out, you can check this book out from our library. There'll be a link in the description of this video to get a copy from the Chippewa River District Library. So we talked about how in the book Little Cloud, clouds come out on a nice sunny blue sky day and they might lead to rain. But have we talked about windy days? One of my favorite things to do on a windy day is to fly a kite. And I have a rhyme for you about flying a kite. One little kite in a sky so blue, along came another, and then there were two. Can you show me two kites? Two little kites flying high above me, along came another, and then there were three. Show me three fingers for the three kites. Three little kites, just watch them soar. Along came another, and then there were four. Show me one, two, three, four fingers. Four little kites, so high and alive. Along came another, and then there were five. Show me a hand with five fingers. There's one more verse with our five fingers here. Five little kites dancing across the sky. What a sight to see so high. It's time to practice our writing. You can follow along with a pen on a piece of paper. You can trace in the air by following along, or you can just practice writing this word later. 
it's always important to practice our writing. It's a great pre-writing skill and any attempt is a good attempt. So just keep trying. We're gonna start by writing the word I've pre-set up on this board. Hmm, I wonder what word it will be. Let's start at the beginning with the capital letter. It's an R. Let's see. Hmm, what's this lowercase letter gonna be? An A. An I. N. R, A, I, N. Ra, Ain. Rain. We are going through a season change right now. Right now it is changing from winter time when we see a lot of cold, snowy weather and it's becoming spring when we see a little bit warmer weather. Sometimes we see a little bit of rainy weather. And I'm gonna teach you a rhyme that talks about all of the different season changes and some of the different weather patterns we have in each season. To do this rhyme, I'm gonna use a scarf. You can grab any little piece of material or even if you have some tissue paper um, to follow along at home if you'd like to follow along with this rhyme. And we're gonna start by taking our scarf and putting it on the ground and saying, rain on the grass. Put your scarf on the grass and then rain on the trees. Wave your scarf way up high. Rain on the roof. Put their, your scarf on your head, but not on me. Throw that scarf off because there's no rain getting on you. Good job. That was for spring when we have some rainy weather. Hmm. But what kind of weather do we have coming up after spring in the summertime? I think it gets nice and sunny in the summer, doesn't it? Let's try again with some sunny summer weather. Let's do sun on the grass, down on the ground. Sun on the trees, way up high. Sun on the roof, but not on me. Throw that scarf off. After summer, what season is it? Hmm, autumn or fall, isn't it? And in the fall, we get some windy weather and that blows all of the leaves off of the trees. As they turn colors, they blow right off, don't they? Let's do the rhyme again for fall with the leaves. We're gonna do leaves on the grass. Wave your scarf on the ground. Leaves on the trees leaves on the roof but not on me throw that scarf off well we've done spring we've done summer we've done fall what season is left winter the season we just had where we get snow so let's talk about the snow being on the ground ready snow on the grass Snow on the trees, snow on the roof, but not on me. Get that snow off. Good job, friends. Thank you for doing that rhyme with me. I'd like to teach you another song. This song talks about lots of different types of weather. It's actually a traditional folk song, but I learned it from the kids musician Jim Gill, and I've added a couple of my own lines to it so we can learn about even more different types of weather. You can follow along with my motions as I sing the song. May there always be sunshine. Can you make a sun? May there always be blue skies. Let's point up to the blue skies. May there always be mama. You're gonna give yourself a hug. May there always be me. Point to yourself. Let's try that again. May there always be sunshine. May there always be blue skies. May there always be mama. May there always be me. Let's try adding, instead of just sunshine and blue skies, let's try adding some more weather in there. Are you ready? May there always be spring rains. Make your rain fall down. 
May there always be rainbows. Let's make a big arch for a rainbow. May there always be snowballs. Make a snowball and throw it. May there always be clouds. Let's point to the clouds. Let's try that one again. May there always be spring rains. May there always be rainbows. May there always be snowballs. May there always be clouds. Good job. Now we learned about clouds and snow and sunshine, all different kinds of fun weather. Awesome job. Well, friends, we have reached the end of our story time today. It's time to sing the goodbye song. Let's sing it together. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye.